a uh, epi- mm, epigram. There we go. I was going to say epitaph. Nobody is dead. <coughs> From Danielle Colibert, who is a French poet who killed herself when she was something like 30, and she's really amazing. That is epitaph. Um... So this is this line is from her. I am progressively being tightened around your body and restored to duration. The test of death. A note of wind. Dust blows. Sound from ground to horizon. The face turned. A shake. Movement stalled. Sighting the tunnel. Quick pan away. Quickly. The violent lust deferred in heat until the sound and closer, tighter. The voice calls out to space. A wind hovers, no body left. The shadows fill the empty space. The voice hoarse, tracking forward, inside, abandoned. You do not exist. You do not exist. You do not exist. You do not exist. You, tilted angle, the weight of stop, blood vessels pound. This is not the inside, souls burn in heat. You have bled here, and it is here that I stop, here that I find your blood, here that your wounds match my soul, here where I call out, you cannot respond. Zoom out, lay slant, static complicity. Calm. Windows blackened, no empty space, survey around the building, sky flat, a pushing, no weather, hold breath and no sound, zero, counting, zero, 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 none, a hung gas. Where in these halls were you found? Light of the sun, pushed toward, limbs, filled with the exposure, held, black but no light, nothing, called out toward the earth, Nothing. Nothing if held there is nothing. Skin itches. Felt. Calmness and aridity. Belief good exercise. Pull away. Pressured arms signify your lack. The air inside of your own memory. The interrogative phrase. The question. When. A tightened shot on the window. Screen flickers. No flicker. A dark. The sounds come back. Traffic. Presence restored, but this your post abandoned, my body taut in desperation. The only haunt of space, the ghost of the whole, the mass, the object in front of me, a haze specificity, an absence filled by this no, a rock, a solid hammer, a dark shape, a dark form, taking up space, nothing forgotten. No, my body calls out to yours. No, don't stop, please. Stop it, please. Let me breathe a while longer. No, I can't, please. No, there is no camera. There are no light. The hole, not empty. The hole, material, dark. No, inside, only eternal. Outside, no progression forward towards you. Only the light of the inside. The images produced by a dead man are the greatest mystery of my life. Not memory, my own body burning, melting, your touch my breath, quickening, stopping. The stillness is cold, and here's what I can see. A path, the camera follows it forward, a consistent rate of travel. The path, a dirt path in a forest, snow but no cold. I cannot see the cold. At the end of the path, a body, the other. And when I call out to my own self, I can only cry silently. Woo! Woo! <laughs> People have asked me more thrusting. We're only on page two. <laughs> you want some thrusting. Thrusting. They want some <laughs> bodily thrusting. Move. thrusting. Get that poem tattooed on your box. <laughs> Whatever the so, fuck that is. I write the text of death. I'm so naive. That the body found dead in the room can be the body that guides the narrative. His mind these images, an interjection of myself upon him. Neither of us are here in these words. We are only around them, through them. The words are not solid. They are not ontologically present. They are only places. There is the idea that in life, there are narratives that transition us from event to event. But really, narrative can only be momentum. Most narratives are static momentum, a consistent loss of breath. I love you more than you could ever imagine. I could tell you about how I found the man and how my machines felt him. And when he died, I saw the images he gave my machines. 
My camera makes images, and these images are found words. My camera held the images from the man, the dead man, his body. Who takes the first person perspective in these words? Who takes the second person? Who is the I and who is the you? A complete lack of justifiable definition. This is not vague. This is reality from outside of a phenomenological experience of it. Woo! A mediation of the body with technology can reform consciousness into a zone of the ordained event. If we can only perceive the totality, and this is what the world is, then we are dead men who have to assume that there is nothing outside of us. This is wrong. Outside of us is the dark energy and dark matter that is unobserv unobservable to us but present. Inside of the dark energy there is the eradication of time and only acceleration. Inside of the dark matter there is only presence in our absence. Words cannot be considered signifiers when they hold that which is outside of the realm of representation, existence. Into darkness forever, my pulse aesthetic form of weight, the tree impedes upon the building, zoom in, zoom in, cannot forget. If I could feel my body, I would expect it to be cold, a biting dry cold, feet walking in snow. Gasping, hold breath, the camera keeps a static position, the face turns and looks, inside of the building someone moves, a quick glance sends terror. To be outside of, in relation to your body, I am not in relation to your body, into darkness forever, strobing of the image, the linearity of the body collapsed into a single function, wrapped, held, a string of light. To be held by terror, into darkness forever, a presence, the flatness of the sky over the ever-present nature of architecture, your breath ceasing, imageless totality, a repetition, a repetition, a repetition, a slight notice of movement, camera pans 180 degrees to face the man behind the camera who is, angles everything flattened into a pain, the universe is finite, but it spans infinitely beyond comprehension of what we breathe in air, pause, gasp, Nothing. Whiteness. Stillness. Silence. No hold on body. Lacked. The fullness of absence. The white mark in the sky outside of the sun. The face turns. There is no face. There is no camera. There are no images. The face turns. The white mark in the sky opens up. Outside of movement, whiteness, the flicker of the image, the same architecture holding no death or life, holding only whiteness, the face turns, I am going to make myself inside of you, the face turns, the slant, whiteness, a shaking collapse, felt, no, end, no, end, you do not exist, light, held by terror, Darkness forever, the white slash on the image in the sky opens up into the outside, no weather, no burn, pulse quickening inside, a face turns your face, you are standing beside me, I cannot inside you, to hold the white gash of the page, no text, the image, together, stand forward, static, whiteness, stillness, silence, none of these things, present whiteness, the whole is not empty, it is filled, the rolling roar of silence, the heavy weight, not a vent, shake, shake, body held convulses, conflation of whiteness, this is not a hole, this is not a mistake. In the forest, there are piles of stone, but there is no forest, no subject, self, other. Thanks. <laughs>